Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juju. Welcome to Juju's Journey. Today, y'all, we are here to talk about this hair on my head. Why? Because I feel like it. So guys, let's get into it. One of the main reasons why we're talking about this hair on my head, it's not because of the fact that they're box braids, it's the method that I use to install them. I'm trying a new method as well as trying to introduce a new segment to my channel. Y'all, don't hold me to it because you know, like I always say I'm trying new things, but then it's like life comes at me like, yeah, we don't got time for that. So I'm gonna try this new segment. We're gonna see how it goes. But this segment is essentially gonna be called is it worth it essentially i'm gonna try new methods of installation processes and stuff like that out there and we're gonna see if it's worth it or if it's not this here on my head is just some ombre box braids um i'll insert a little clip so you guys can see what that looks like the way i installed it is using the crochet installation method which is a method where basically i braid my hair and then i crochet the braid in here into it and then begin to braid i am sure i have some clips so that i can include it so that you guys know for a fact what i'm talking about i came across this method on tiktok well not really tiktok instagram but it was like a tiktok video that was transferred over to instagram as well as a friend of mine reached out to me like three four maybe five months ago and she was like hey did you see this and it was someone's youtube video i'll be sure to link it below if i still have the messages in my phone but she reached out to me and she was like oh did you see this new method um i know like you have problems doing the knotless box braids ha! so like do you want to try this um or have you tried it she said and i was like no i haven't tried it yet and i told her like it was going to be a few months because i already had a few other styles that i was going to be working with go ahead and watch those videos guys after this one of course after this one so like a month ago because i've literally had these in my hair for four months now i decided to go ahead and give it a test drive to see if i liked that installation guys huh, at this point i'm still not sure if it's worth it or if it is not but I am going to go through my thoughts on it so you guys can see exactly what I am thinking. So the way that it is installed, it makes it much easier to grip the hair. Let me tell you guys something. I've literally had these braids in for one month. The hair is still gripped pretty nicely and i know that it's because of the way that it was installed because for the very back row of my hair i did install it with just like braiding the hair and like i regularly did the back of my hair the last row of my hair did not stay as well as the front of my hair did in fact you can actually see that one braid it slid down so much pause for a minute i know people like to say that oh i have so much new growth but i feel like people sometimes forget to take into account the fact that when your hair is in braids depending on how it is installed like your hair slides down a little in the braid so it's not always just new growth that you're seeing so i was very very happy with the fact that with this method of installation there was no sliding out of the braid that for me right there is like a one point towards worth it another point that will go towards worth it is the fact that the way that this hair is installed if you have trouble gripping or starting a braid you can literally just start your braid without any issues you could just start your braid like a plat it is so easy you literally install the crochet braid into your braided base in a t fashion and you just cover the braided here you use two of the strands that you install one of the strands i should say you fold it over it becomes two and you use that to cover the braid then you use the other two as the other you know the other parts of the plat i cannot explain how to do a braid like as you can see i'm probably struggling also guys, I apologize for the fact that my eyes are probably wandering all over this video and probably focusing off to the side, off to this and whatever. I am using my iPhone to record my videos as I always do. And I just feel like sometimes I cannot focus on that little thing where the camera is supposed to be and my mind just like wanders. And as I think about things like, my brain is just like my eyes just starts to like go off someone recently told me that and I was just like, oh my goodness, I really thought my Raven Simone syndrome when she has a vision was not something that people see <laughs> ah, i was so embarrassed i was like Ugh. anyways side note let's get back to the video anyways another point towards worth it is the fact that that insulation method if you have issues gripping or starting a box braid 
that solves your issue right there. Another thing is, depending on how far you braid your hair down into the base, it makes it for a very neat braid. That's another point toward the tick box of it is worth it y'all because my braids were so neat they're neater than i've ever done them i am not a hairstylist i simply do braids myself because i hate when i go to get my hair done professionally and it doesn't come out right now i'm not saying that happens a lot but on the off chance that it does happen i instant regret instant aggravation pissed off so i'd rather just do it myself and i can only be angry with myself if it doesn't come out exactly the way i wanted it to come out and at the same time if i start a style that i'm installing myself if it's not looking right i can just stop you can't tell the hairdresser in the middle of her doing your hair like yeah i'm not feeling that no more i can't do that no thank you so that's why I installed my hair, but I am not a professional. I didn't go to school for this. I am literally just teaching myself as I go along. I am sure you guys have seen some of my videos. If not, feel free to watch them, especially the one where I tried to do knotless box braids on my sister. That was a disaster. A disaster. <laughs> I'm actually like, why did you post that? You could have just kept that embarrassment in the, in the drafts. like. <laughs> but I posted the video because I just like to basically share me trying to learn to do here anyways my braids they looked so neat when i was done they don't look so neat no more hair is starting to come out like it, it it's not the neatest right now but you know they they were looking really good they had a really good period of about three weeks where they were just like fire and then after the third week i guess too much sweat too much running too much heat it was like nah my natural hair was like we we can't stay trapped in here anymore honey we we're coming out so that's another tick towards the box is your braids will look super super neat now one thing towards the uh i'm not sure it's worth it box is this hair took me three days to do <laughs> but guys i must preface that with i am a slow braider i braid so slow that has to do with the fact that although i'm not diagnosed i truly believe i have add you can probably tell by the way some of my videos are formatted i tend to go off in tangents it's not just while recording it is life i could literally sit there having a conversation with you about one thing and in the middle of you talking i will think of something else and immediately voice it because one my filter does not engage and two i just feel like everyone needs to know what i'm thinking <laughs> Which I am trying to remind myself, the world does not revolve around you. So no, everyone doesn't need to know what you were thinking, honey. But yes, it took me three days. The first day I started the hair, I believe I started it like later in the afternoon. And I was kind of getting frustrated because I was trying to record it. My hand kept getting in the way so I couldn't get like clips so you guys could really see what I was doing. Then it was like when I finally figured it out, like I got tired. The second day that I was working on my hair, I had to install crochet braids for someone else. Right after I was finished, I was like, okay. I gotta get this done because I have a party tomorrow afternoon like I'm gonna do it I worked on the hair for probably about three to four hours was almost done and then I was just like oh, I'm tired <laughs> like I literally probably had like 10 to 15 braids left to finish and I was just like yeah I don't feel like doing this anymore mm. Uh, I'm not feeling it not feeling it so I just stopped in the middle of doing my hair and then the third day I kind of had no choice but to finish it and stop being lazy because I had somewhere to go but it took long the reason why it is going in the uh, I don't know if it's worth it pile is because I then did this style maybe a week ago on my sister it literally took me all day i started her hair probably around 10 a.m and i didn't finish to bring her home until around 10 p.m at night that is literally 12 hours you have to braid each individual box braid to create the base to then install the hair in crochet form it's not like you just pull your hair and get it together and start your box braid you're literally braiding every braid twice so another tick into the uh uh, had me like uh, i don't know if it's really worth it is the fact that unlike knotless box braids which this method is supposed to replicate i felt the tension on my hair after it was done it took about like two days which is much quicker than if you get regular traditional box braids usually with those you got a good four to five days maybe a week which i in my case two weeks <laughs> 
before those braids would loosen up and you were able to move them from one side of your head to another side of your head. The first night that I installed the hair, even when I went to bed, I felt the tension of the hair on my head. And I started to think maybe it was just the fact that I was pulling it really tightly as I was braiding since I was using a method and I was trying to make sure that my braided hair within the box braid was covered. There was no need for me to do that. So I feel like once I stopped doing that, it did make the hair a little bit easier to maneuver. The difference is with knotless box box braids which I've had you guys feel free to watch that video because I give you my full thoughts on that the day that I got them done like I have felt no tension I was whipping and sliding my hair all over the place with no problems like I was even wearing it up with this I definitely felt it on my head I felt it on my head for like the first two days then it was you know good to go so that is one of the things that had me thinking like mm, I don't know if this is worth it. I could just braid my hair regular if it's gonna be the same kind of thing. But like I said, that period of time before you feel like you can really move and maneuver your hair is much shorter. Overall, overall, I think this method is worth it. <laughs> I do I do think it's worth it because literally your hair stays in longer it looks neater for a very long period of time because you've created a base so your hair is not sliding out the fact that you already had a braid in between you're not tucking your hair as much that's another plus it's not sliding out and sliding all over the place it looks good so I feel like overall this method is a yes if you guys were thinking about trying this just go ahead and, and start it like i said i will insert the video below of the girl that i saw doing it on youtube when i did my hair i didn't go back to watch the videos or to look at the tiktok videos on instagram that i saw simply because it was such a simple method that i remembered exactly what i was supposed to do and just just did it like i kind of just jump in by the way whenever i try new things i don't oversaturate my mind with the way someone else does it i simply take what they're telling me and then i do it i don't keep watching their videos step for step for step for step i literally just take it how they explain it and then i do what i need to do why my attention span it ain't that long like i don't got time i don't got time I really don't. I need to just like look at it very quickly and then be like, okay, that's how you got to do it. Just do it that way. If I keep watching, I literally try to get it done exactly the way that person did their hair and just completely forget about my abilities in that process. <laughs> and end up just making a mess because I'm not thinking about what I can do. I'm simply trying to replicate what I was shown. So yeah, overall, this is a go. This is a yes. Try this method. Definitely work it. I am sure this video is all over the place because even as I'm sitting here right now, I'm like, geez, girl, your thoughts are literally all over the place. But anyways, thank you guys for stopping by and watching another one of my videos. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Comment below. I have one question to pose for you guys. Does this here look like it is knotless box braids like is it giving that knotless vibes or are you seeing knots all through this thing that you're just like girl no <laughs> let me know anyways like if you liked it comment if you got something to say answer my question in the comments if you're doing both you might as well subscribe because i'm sure you enjoyed the video if you did <laughs> until next time guys bye